No one can stop it. <laughs> Someone broke. Someone broke him at the house. Oh, we're next. <laughs> oh, image day four. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. You know. Sometimes I wish I was a dog. Huh? <laughs> I understand that's so random, but like, bro, hear me out. You can sleep anytime you want. Food magically appears in your bowl. You can even poop anywhere you want and someone's gonna pick it up for you. Like, dude. Oh my God, that sounds awesome. <laughs> so three analog horror videos. Part something, I don't know. <laughs> so as you can tell, three different videos. We're gonna react to them all. Each of these videos are by their own YouTube channel. So I'm gonna shout them out at the same time, so. Yeah, so shout out to Sony Records. I'll put the link in the description for you guys to check it out. But other than that, you guys don't know what else to say. So let's go. All right, then, first video Two Tail Fox, the Sonic tapes. Sonic? Like Sonic.exe? Yo, I haven't played that game still, bro. What the heck? Let's see, man. Let's see. Is it Sonic.exe? Tails! Oh, Tails. You look kind of. Oh! Ooh! <laughs> bro! Is he sleeping in the cave? Oh! <laughs> yeah, that would be my reaction. Bro, he has a big forehead. <laughs> Bro, looks like Mega Mine. Oh no! Over the past three weeks, there have been an exponential number of missing people or something. So, bro, these reports consist of individuals being taken right out of their homes. Sonic, bro. There are currently 946 people that have gone missing from the Hill of Top County area. Oh, my God. Not a single individual's body has been recovered because Sonic eats them. Search parties have been sent out uh, into the Hill of Top Wilderness, but may have gone missing from those as well. Oh, my God. They're just feeding him. The public and the hysterics of the local government doesn't know what to do. Oh, yeah, bro, it's like the Flash. No one can stop it. <laughs> someone broke, someone broke him at the house. Oh, we're next. No! What happened to Tails? I thought he got eaten. The images you're about to witness there were recovered from a camera that was on one of the search party members. What happened to the search party? Their whereabouts are currently unknown. The camera was found next to the blood trails leading into the woods. They got eaten by the freaking Sonic. Oh, it ran up to the camera, AKA the people. There have also been uh, sightings of the entity flying through the sky in the late hours of the night. What? Oh, Tails is working for Sonic now because he got um, infected. Images of these creatures have surfaced online, but the local government refuses to acknowledge their existence. Dang, because they don't want to um, worry the people. Without any logical explanation for the disappearance, many members of the public have believed that the... Uh, something, something. <laughs> I can't read that fast. <laughs> oh, I thought that was going to... Oh... Hey? Is that Sonic mutating? He just becomes a savage beast that, that starts eating people. Oh, that's loud. Oh, he got really big. And that was the end. Okay. Hold up. I want to see the part when he freaking stabs Tails in the neck. This part. Yeah, this is freaking scary, man. Look at him. Oh, he kind of looks goofy. Oh, oh. <laughs> I thought he was about to eat him right here, but I guess he made him into his like puppet or something. Because he started collecting people as well to feed Sonic. And that's how he got bigger. Uh. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. Imagine if Sonic just starts eating people. Oh, God. Okay, next video. So Croft Records, Lockdown. I, I know what this is going to be. I just don't. Uh, this tape is owned by the uh, middle school. Oh, no. Do not attempt or steal or reproduce copies of the. Oh, yeah, obviously. Whoa. Someone got bullied, bro. Same Barbara Middle School. Lockdown instructional tape. This is good. You know, in case, you know? Yeah. One of the most unnerving aspects of school is a uh, lockdown. Yep. Especially here in the United States. At any time, your life could suddenly be put in danger during class, and it is our job to make sure that you're safe. <laughs> this tape will serve you to inform you uh, what to do during a lockdown. 
Did I even say that sentence right? <laughs> I don't think I did. <laughs> Pay attention closely. Doesn't matter. I just need pictures, man, or videos. You know? <laughs> what? Lockdowns are issued during school hours when a threat to students are... Okay, mm-hmm. In a lockdown situation, you had three choices to make in order to make it out of the situation safely. Which is... Run. Okay. Hide. Fight. I mean, <laughs> bro, if they're using fists, then it makes sense for you to fight, but... Your main answer is mostly to run, <laughs> because... You don't want to be at that same place where that thing is at, right? Run. Running is one of the first choices you should attempt to take in, uh, in order to survive a lockdown. In a situation uh, in which an assailant is detected on school grounds, you are at a location where you feel that you can run, you should do so immediately. Mm hmm. Makes sense, makes sense. Huh? Oh, is this the map? Well, leave your belongings on the ground or other than a phone as they will slow you down and end up hurting you in the long run. Yee. Bro, zooming. Uh, because it can hear sounds distinctively, uh, you should attempt to find the quickest route to out of school, whether by breaking a window or locating the nearest exit. Uh, there are emergency exits marked in red for situations like this. Exit? There are... Uh, yeah, okay, I literally just read that. After making it out of the school and ensuring that you are at a safe distance, dial 911 and report your situation. Okay. So far, it's pretty good um, advice. If anyone attempts to enter the school, stop from them from doing so. You do not want any unnecessary casualties. Yep, that they might, you know... If you attempt to escape and the assailant takes you in the line side, then you will be reduced to an ever going. Ooh, ooh, what was that? Hide. Alright, if you're unable to run out of school safely under any circumstances, the best thing you can do is hide. Bro, what if I'm big? <laughs> I'm gonna be like. <laughs> In a classroom, your teacher will be direct, uh, direct you to hide by a wall, close any windows and blinds, and turn off the lights. I always never understood that, like... Is there always gonna be a classroom that's empty during school grounds? No, right? I don't know. Never mind. Block the door with things such as chairs that spurn you from... Okay, yeah. So barricade the entrance, in other words. Inside, uh, turn off any electronics and refrain from making any noise. Any noise will made is considered a fatal mistake. Bro, oh my god, me with the boys, we'll be like, <laughs> this weekend. <laughs> nah, this you know, if you're staying with the soil of any circumstances, this you what they're, okay. I, hmm. Oh. 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 That does not sound like a person. Yo, is that queso? <laughs> <laughs> have quesos walk into your school, dude. If you're not in a classroom when the lockdown starts, quickly enter the nearest room. If you're in a bathroom, turn off the lights and hide in the stall. Do your best to conceal yourself. <laughs> oh my god. Dude. Oh. Be ready to remain in place for an indefinite period of time. Nothing can save you. I, I don't like that advice. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Fight? With what, man? With these? I can't do anything with these if they have the pew pew pew. Ooh, the unknowing lamb that stays with its her Ooh, enveloped in the soil. Bro, ooh, I am so lost. A beacon for the many that crave. Oh! That is not a person. Okay. Abandoned by Demeter. What the freak are we looking at? I thought this was going to be, you know, never mind. We hope that you will know what to do in the case of a lockdown. <laughs> Bro, if it's an entity, nothing's going to save us. Enjoy learning and stay safe out there. <laughs> yeah, we're going to expect entities going to show up in our freaking school time. Whatever, man. Lockdown, made by cartoonish. Uh, shout out to you, bro. That's some awesome advice. <laughs> so, Croft Records.
I wonder what kind of entity that was though. It's a queso entity, bro. <laughs> okay, that's enough. Okay, last video. Gateway to the Mind, analog horror short film. All right, we got a short film. I think it's like, ele uh, what the? F <laughs> Wait, someone else is using my account? Oh, yo! Can't believe someone was using my account, man. No way, Jose. All right, let's see this. I already forgot what was the title. Grave to the Mine? Something? I don't know. High five? I don't know why, but I just thought about the South Park analog horror. Maybe because of the static, you know? Yeah, maybe that. FBI? Oh, federal law provides. Okay, I can't even read it because I'm already blind and there wasn't even enough time to read all of that. Okay. But FBI warning. No bueno. My eyes. <laughs> Department of Justice, Federal uh, Bureau, Bureau of Investigation. How do you pronounce that word? Bureau? I know it's not Bureau or whatever. What is this? Some kind of slideshow? July 12th, 1983. What happened at that time? Undisclosed location. Okay. Gateway to the mine. I just, my voice cracked again. <laughs> okay, it's gateway to the mine, not mine, something, something, grave to the mine. Sensory deprivation experiment. Hmm. Our goal. Our goal for this experiment is to use sens sensory uh, deprivation to perceive the presence of God. Our theory states that the five senses cloud our precipitation of the otherworldly something. Okay, so we're trying to make contact with God, and by doing that, we're doing this experiment. Uh, our test subject. For this experiment, our test subject was purged of all of his senses so he could know... <gasps> Not odd? Our test subject has no possible way to sense the outside world besides using his thoughts or something? No way, bro. That's cruel. Uh, audio and visual monitoring. Our scientists have developed a way to monitoring a person's thoughts. They have electronic signals sent from a computer, enter a person's brain, and exit out back into the computer. Okay, so they had a machine or a computer to um, keep track of the mind, of the thoughts of the person that they're experimenting on. That is insane. I didn't even know that was possible, dude. Technology, man. <laughs> Gateway to the mind. <sighs> Audio and visual monitoring. All right, so our footage. Let's see this. Day one. Day one. It's gonna be boring, man. There's nothing crazy about day one. Let's see this. Audio monitoring. Day one. Okay, we're gonna listen to the audio first, not an actual whole video. <laughs> Boom. Oh, they don't have it. Not available. Womp. Image monitoring day one. Come on. Give me something at least. How so we can do like a before and after. Okay, not available as well. Wow, I can see you guys are gathering a lot of data. Experiment day one conclusion. <laughs> there was nothing to record. <laughs> nothing out of the ordinary was shown on the audio and visual monitor. The experiment continues. <laughs> what the... <sighs> they could have provided some information. Gave it to the mind audio. Okay, day two. In other words. Any. Any or. No. Day two, audio monitoring. You better not give me the end. <laughs> it sounds like they're crying out for help. I couldn't make up the words because the volume of it was very low. 
day two image. All right, let's see. I forgot that they have a bunch of things on their face to cancel out their senses. Huh? Oh, is this their thoughts? How would they even make that into a picture? <sighs> Dude, I am not smart enough for this. Day to conclusion, the audio and visual monitoring suggests that our test subject has uh, reached contact with the otherworldly beings. <gasps> oh, so those were God, whatever. Day three. Okay. That was already a big jump from day one to day two and now already in day three. Audio monitoring day three again. Come on. It's you! Oh, this one's loud. Is, is that the wind? I think that's the wind. Ooh, ooh. Oh, God, my ears, bro. Okay. I feel like someone is screaming in the background, but I don't know. It could be the wing instead. Like that. What the fuck? It's very high pitch to be the wind. Oh, man. I definitely need uh, an explanation for this day three. All right, image monitoring. Let's see if it's God. We saw some like alien looking body. Oh, I'm assuming the left is the sun and the right was the moon. Or well, nighttime, I guess. Day and night. Day and night. What? What? <laughs> Give me a really changing subject. Okay, uh, conclusion. According to the audio and visual monitoring, uh, our test subject has been made contact with the... Uh, I couldn't even finish reading! Nope, we're going back for that. Uh, test subject has made contact with the dam in hell. Contact with God is in sight. What? Ooh, ooh. In hell. Oh, oh no, it's red. Sus. I can't see. I can't feel. Let me guess. I can't hear. I can't smell. I can't taste. Dang. Not all of the senses, dude. Wait. No here? Their voices are so loud. Okay, so he can hear. Then th that's not all of the five senses. Their screams are louder. Please don't yell in my ears. No heaven, no forgiveness. Oh, what do I need? Oh, 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 no heaven, no forgiveness. Okay, okay. I was about to say, like, so what are the things I need to do in order to be in heaven? But I guess it's not going to tell us. Warning, something, something. And there was another picture. I don't know what it was. Gateway to the mind. Audio and visual monitoring day four. Okay. I'm assuming this is the last day. Because how worse can this get, bro? <laughs> oh, no. Oh no, I'm not prepared for this. I'm, I'm lifting on my headphones. I know it's gonna be loud. Oh, maybe not. I don't understand a single word that it's saying. <laughs> uh, uh, whatever not my problem <laughs> oh image day four Ooh. Ooh. oh 
It's the guy from the thumbnail. Is, is that supposed to be God? Bro's ugly. <laughs> Bro's not attractive. <laughs> oh, never mind. Our test subject has sadly passed away. But before the pass, he said this. What do you say? Ooh. 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 Was he not supposed to say something? Well, oh, oh, I have spoken with God. He has abandoned us. Oh, oh, got a little bit of chills right there. Oh, God. Ooh. What am I even looking at? Gateway to the mine. <sighs> Created by Luke Murray. Thanks for watching. No, thank you, bro. Because I have to go to sleep. <laughs> I just hope that the guy that passed away didn't volunteer for this, dude. Can you imagine if he was told like, hey, bro, if you do this for four days, we'll pay you a thousand bucks. Dies. Oh, hell no, bro. But we're done. Bye.